everyone and welcome to today's workshop on Emeka, displaying research data divinely. My name is Tyne and I'm a researcher in literary studies. I wrote my PhD looking at the intersection between 20th century American poetry and surveillance culture. I study texts, but today, in today's Emeka workshop, we're going to look at a range of humanities artefacts, including objects, images, and manuscripts. I'm also a senior research community coordinator at Research Platform Services. We're researchers teaching researchers, and that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to look at some training, some engagement, and I'll introduce you to our research community. So what are we going to cover in today's workshop? Here is our curriculum. First, we'll consider what is a Mecca. We'll then look at some key examples for you to aspire to in making your site. I'll then cover three key learning objectives. These are to upload four items into your site. We'll then describe the items using Dublin Core metadata. And finally, we'll add the items to a collection. At the end of the session, you can reflect on what you've learnt and discovered in the process of making your site. Omeka is a Swahili word meaning to display or lay out wares, to spread out, to speak out or to unpack. As a digital research tool, Omeka is a free, flexible web publishing platform for the display of library, museum, archives, and scholarly collections and exhibitions. What Ameka can do for you is allow for the creation of complex narratives adhering to Dublin Core metadata standards. If you're wondering, where is Ameka? Well, it's a project of the Roy Rosenweig Center for History and New Media at George Mason University in Virginia. Ameka is a whole range of things a collections management system, a piece of software. It allows for web content management. It's also open source, which means that there's a wide community of users available to help assist with troubleshooting, questions you may have, and to engage you in a digital research community. You might be thinking, why use a Mecca? Well, you can turn something like this, or something like this, into a fantastic website that tells an engaging narrative. Your online exhibit with Emeka is just one click away. The best way to get started on building your Emeka site is to think about its key components. These are, first of all, items. An individual digital representative of a piece of content. This can take the form of something physical or digital. In an Emeka instance, we use metadata, that is, data about data, to describe each item. We can then put all of the items into a collection. We might group them together based on a specific theme, just like you would in a traditional gallery or museum. We then create an exhibit. This is a final product created using items and collections. Think of an exhibit as a grand thematic narrative. You can use tags in a Mecca to create or group items together. The next step, how do I make my Mecca? A tip is to think of the items in your site as the basic building blocks, kind of like bricks in a house. First, create a collection and add an item to your site. An item can contain various files. These might take the form of images, audio, text, or even video. Items can then be tagged and geo-referenced. And items and collections in Emeka can be made public or private. As a first-time user of Emeka, you might be wondering, what on earth is metadata? Well, think, to think of it simply, metadata is used to make your items discoverable. It's a system of language used to get humanities, arts and social science researchers on the same page. It's basic to allow for flexibility. 
and it includes 15 different fields, including title, subject, description, and creator. Now that we've covered an introduction of what Omeka is and what it can do, I'll do a basic demonstration. This utilises our three key learning objectives. I'll upload an item to a site. I'll then describe it with Dublin Core metadata and then I'll place the item into a collection. So, in today's demonstration, I'm going to upload a digitised version of this 1952 piece of Coca-Cola advertising memorabilia. In order to make our new site and add content to begin with, we first need to head to the left-hand pane over here and click on the Items tab. Once we're in this section, we can then use the green button to add a new item to our Mecca site. Before I populate any of the Dublin Core metadata schema, I'm going to attach a file to my item. I click on File, and I can choose, for instance, a pre-existing file on my desktop. I'm going to click Choose File, and select the digitised version. Once I've attached the file, I can choose to make it either public or featured. If I click public, it means that the object is displayed on my site. Featured means that it's displayed on the front end of the site, for instance, as a featured item, or it could be a featured exhibition. In our case for now, I'm going to click just public. To make sure that I save the actions that I've completed, I need to then click the green button over to the right here, Add Item. Back at the dashboard end of our site, we can now see that we have one item uploaded. In order to add some metadata schema to the file that has been uploaded as our first item, I'm going to click on Edit. Here we have the fields that we can populate in order to give our item some information and make it discoverable. Today, I'm going to fill out just the first three. First, I'll give our item a title. This could be the title of the item itself, some text contained within the item, or I might give it a title of my own, depending on my research angle. Today, I'm going to give it the name on the item. I then need to decide a subject. This is the topic of the resource. We then might want to describe our item. This provides some useful information to other researchers encountering the items on our Mecca site. I've now populated the first three items of our Dublin Core Metadata Elements set. In order to save these changes, I'll head back over here to our green button on the right and click Save Changes. Once our changes are saved, we have an item, a corresponding digital file uploaded, and three elements in our metadata set. Let's have a look at the front end of our site. And there we have it, a recently added item with bits of information useful to other researchers and a corresponding digital file. So there we have it. We now have a site that contains one useful item. But what if we suddenly had more items on our site and we wanted to group them into a collection? Well, that's easy too. First, we head over to the collections pane on the left again. Using the green button, we add a collection. Today, I'm going to call ours Memorabilia. And again, I'd like to make it public. But for now, how about we also make our new collection featured? Don't forget to click on the green button and add your collection. Back to our dashboard, we can see that we now have an item and one collection. 
but we need to place our item inside the recently created theme. I'll head back to our item. And over on the right here, place it in our brand new memorabilia collection. Don't forget to save changes. Back to the front end of our site, and you can see that inside our collections, we now have a brand new collection containing our first uploaded item. You can see how I've done this in just a few key simple steps. Now that I've done a very basic demonstration, it's your turn. Use the three skills just showcased to upload your own items into an Omeka site. Describe the items with at least three metadata entries, title, subject, and description. now made your own site and started your own research journey in just a few simple steps. To wrap up, let's ask a few questions, such as, what is our site doing? What kinds of connections is it displaying? And how could it be better? As we've discovered, a picture can be worth a thousand words if it has some metadata. But keep in mind, this is only the beginning. Today, I've taught you the tip of the iceberg. Thanks for watching today's very brief workshop. But to learn a lot more and to engage with our community, get in touch with us at Research Platform Services at the University of Melbourne to attend a training. Mm -hmm.